Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing another history lesson. Um, and this is going to be on the Mayweather versus Baldemir welterweight title fight that took place in 2005, I believe. Um, it was either five or six. It was in November of that year. And it saw... May, you know Mayweather challenging for Baldemir's title so before we get into that guys if you could show me some love smash the like button leave a comment subscribe to the channel I really do appreciate any kind of support that I get from you guys um, it really goes a long way I'm just trying to grow my channel and I really would appreciate it so please if you could that'd be that'd be awesome um, if not you know and you don't like what I'm doing give me a thumbs down uh, leave me a bad comment I'm okay with that I want you to be real with me that's the point of this it's called true boxing so this fight you know some people may have forgotten it but I didn't because it was when you know Mayweather the, the whole uh, issue or the reason why this fight even happened was Carlos Baldemir had really kind of come out of nowhere and made a name for himself he had uh, scored an upset decision win over uh, Zab Judah when Zab Judah was the number one welterweight in the world and that was a prelude to Mayweather and Judah fighting um, actually, they were already good to go for April of that year. And um, Baldemir came in and pulled off a, a big upset and, and beat um, Judah for one of his belts. And then Judah ended up fighting Mayweather anyways, uh, still in April, for the other belt that wasn't on the line when, when uh, Judah fought Baldemir. And Mayweather defeated Judah also. So these guys were kind of on a collision course, but... Carlos Baldemir, I went back and looked. I was surprised. He actually had fought, or he actually defended the title against Arturo Gotti in July of that year. And he absolutely dominated Gotti, you know? Um, and, uh, well, he stopped Gotti in the ninth round, but he really beat him up, you know? And I was like, I was like, wow, that's, that's kind of impressive. But, you know, so this fight was made and I think Mayweather was supposed to make a mandatory and he ended up vacating the IBF belt that he won from Judah so he came in the challenger against um, against uh, uh, against um, he came in the challenger against Baldemir and he went in there and absolutely dominated him he shut him out um, you know and it was it was funny because there was a lot of people that thought Baldemir uh, had a chance against Mayweather to make it interesting but Mayweather just did his thing and dominated and outboxed him, outclassed him, and um, scored a pretty one-sided, it was a shutout unanimous decision. Two judges gave him every round. So Carlos Baldemir took the test but came up short completely. And Mayweather, this was just this was right before he got De La Hoya in 07. It was the last fight before he got De La Hoya, and this was part of the reason is he kept moving up and dominating, and welterweight was his fifth weight class he won a title at. And De La Hoya was next on his hit list. So, you know, Baldemir for a minute there, people thought he was he was uh, something special, and Mayweather put him in his place. So, big time win right there. Congrats, you know, and big time win for uh, Floyd over Carlos Baldemir, and it really elevated him. Uh, continue to elevate him to that highest level. So, uh, I just wanted to go over that. That is another history lesson. And it was on Mayweather versus Baldemir. Again, if you if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.